Recent photographs have revealed the extensive damage as portions of Africa are physically splitting apart. Scientists describe this process as Africa peeling into two parts, eventually leading to the formation of a new ocean and the emergence of a new continent. Although this transformation will take millions of years to complete, it will eventually separate present-day Somalia and parts of Kenya, Ethiopia and Tanzania from the rest of the continent. This significant shift in Earth's landscape will have various consequences, both positive and disruptive. But how and why is this happening? Please make sure you watch till the end of this video to understand this whole complex story. Before we get into this, I ask you to please like and subscribe to Habari Tech so you never miss one of our weekly uploads. First, we must understand the concept of rifting, which occurs when a single tectonic plate splits into two or more tectonic plates, creating divergent plate boundaries. This rifting process can be traced back to at least 138 million years when South America and Africa were once part of the same landmass. The way the west coast of Africa and the east coast of South America fit together like a jigsaw piece provide evidence of their previous connection as a single continent. The process of Africa splitting into two parts and the formation of a new ocean is attributed to the East African Rift System. Over the last 30 million years, the Arabian Plate has been gradually moving away from Africa, leading to the creation of the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. The East African Rift is a significant 56 kilometers or 35 miles long crack that emerged in Ethiopia's desert in 2005. It extends for thousands of kilometers through several African countries, including Ethiopia, Kenya, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, Tanzania, Malawi, and Mozambique. The East African Rift Valley is one of the largest rifts in the world, and is connected to three tectonic plates, the African Nubian Plate, the African Somali Plate, and the Arabian Plate. The rift is a result of similar tectonic processes that occur at the bottom of the ocean when new ocean crust is formed. As these tectonic plates continue to separate, Africa will eventually be divided into two unequal parts, leading to the creation of the world's sixth ocean. The process will take millions of years to complete, during which landlocked countries like Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, the DRC, Malawi and Zambia may gain coastlines due to the formation of the new ocean. In the distant future, assuming nation states still exist in their current form, the smaller continent created by the rift will include present-day Somalia and parts of Kenya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Djibouti, Tanzania and Mozambique. However, geologists believe that the smaller emerging continent might drift away from the rest of Africa. This process could result in the formation of new nations, the merging of existing nations, or the complete breakup of certain territories. Additionally, geologists predict that Madagascar will break apart into smaller islands due to these tectonic changes. The potential new ocean that may arise in the next 5 to 10 million years is likely to be named the African Ocean. The emergence of this new ocean and continent will have significant implications for the future state of the world's geography. The emergence of a new coastline in the front of the previously landlocked countries would bring about numerous advantages and opportunities. Number one, landlocked countries like Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, the DRC, Malawi and Zambia would gain direct access to the ocean. This access would lead to a significant reduction in international logistic expenses as they would no longer be dependent solely on neighboring countries' ports for import and export activities. Number two, economic growth. With access to the ocean, these countries can establish shipping and fishing industries, opening up new economic opportunities. Presence of a coastline would enable them to engage in maritime trade, fostering economic growth and diversification. Number three, development of ports and harbors. To facilitate trade and maritime activities, these countries would likely invest in building up modern ports and harbours. This development would enhance their connectivity to the global economy and promote regional trade. These countries would likely invest in building modern ports and harbours. While the emergence of new coastlines presents new opportunities for economic growth and development, 
It also brings a range of challenges and potential disadvantages that Africa will need to address thoughtfully and proactively. Number one is foreign control. While new coastlines and maritime routes present economic opportunities, there is a risk that foreign entities could exploit and dominate these routes, potentially leading to economic dependency or loss of control over their strategic assets. Number two, uncertain geopolitical dynamics. The future relationship between the newly formed continents remains unclear. Will they stay connected or split further like North and South America? The dynamics of trade, security implications and geopolitical alignments are difficult to predict and may bring both opportunities and risks. Number three, displacement and environmental impact. The splitting of tectonic plates and the resulting changes in landscapes will lead to the displacement of communities and settlements. It will also disrupt various flora and fauna, impacting their habitats and leading to environmental degradation. This could result in the extinction of some species and endangerment of others. The process of Africa splitting into two continents is an extremely slow geological phenomenon that occurs over millions of years. As such, it is not something that humans would typically observe in their lifetimes. While sudden events like earthquakes or volcanic eruptions can give a sense of urgency to geological processes, continental rifting is not one of those events. Given the prolonged timeline of millions of years, the future of humanity is difficult to predict and various factors such as environmental changes, technological advancements and social developments could play significant roles in shaping our future. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Africa and its geology. If you did, please like and subscribe to Habari Tech, your hub for African economics, geopolitics and technology. Also, don't forget to leave a comment on what your thoughts are on this process. What do you think could happen? And the last gentle reminder, for those of you who don't know, we have our Patreon which is live. If you would like to contribute to our weekly uploads, get access to behind the scenes content, conversations and Q&As. Link in the description. Thank you for watching.